Good Tuesday morning to you. I'm meteorologist Elizabeth Copeland, and we are tracking much sunnier conditions and even more mild conditions today. But yesterday, take a look at this ICAM from Logan Pass, seeing up to one to four inches of accumulation above 6,000 feet. Logan Pass right around 6,500 feet. So yesterday, about 9.45 a.m., we were tracking snow for that area and continue to track it really through the rest of the day. So for Great Falls, we actually tied the record low yesterday. That low set in 19. 11 at 39 degrees and that was actually right around two or three o'clock we started tying that low which is a flip usually so we usually see that low uh, about four or five in the morning but yesterday we saw the uh, lowest temperatures in the afternoon as that cold front came through it also brought quite a bit of rain for us in the lower elevation so a little bit under half an inch yesterday for great falls uh, over half an inch in lewistown and over half an inch in Jordan as well as 0.6 inches. So for our future cast, we're tracking the showers that moved through Glasgow earlier this morning, continue to move out of the area as well as those clouds. But we do see some clouds come back in tonight into uh, this afternoon into tonight in the Great Falls area, but no rain associated with that. And those clouds cover the high line there right around 10 p.m. this evening, but those clear out tomorrow morning, making for a warm and sunny forecast tomorrow as well. So today will be sunny as we head through the rest of the day. 70 degrees, the high in Great Falls, 68 for Helena and 71 for Haver. And we'll continue tracking those temperatures as they continue to warm through the rest of the week. And we'll see plenty of sunshine as we head through the next seven days.